Hi, it's me again, Anastasia and German Draw Art School. And in this lesson, we will draw a bright winter lantern and a candle. Let's begin. For this lesson, we need a watercolor paper A5 format and we always draw on a textured paper side. Then we need a pencil, a black waterproof liner, any eraser, watercolor set, two brushes, the bigger one and the smaller one, white pen, napkins, glass of water and palette. Prepare the materials and let's begin. So let's begin with the pencil and let's draw two lines. First one is vertical. And the second one is horizontal. And we draw these lines approximately in the center of our paper. So here we have the center and here we have the center as well. Now let's make the lines to make our sketch size. So we have one line here and one line here. Then we are making the next line approximately somewhere there. And actually here we have the line for the tree branch. So we can just make the curvy line like this. Now let's draw the other lines to form the size of the lantern. And I place one line here. And this line can define the elements of the lantern. So for example, here, I want to draw the top part of the lantern. And then the other part that we have here is the lantern itself. So now I want to make the lines to show the size of the lantern. And I'm doing the first line here, approximately. And the same a distance I should do to the right. So we have the central line and we are making our lantern as symmetrical as we can. Of course, we are doing the watercolor sketch, but the central line can really help us to make a beautiful object. Now I want to make the rectangle like this. And here, let's make the oval like this. Now here, I want to draw the lines for the branch and for the snow. So let's begin with this area. And you can do beautiful wavy-like forms like this to show the snow on the branch and then we go up like this. Now let's draw the lines to show the needles. So I'm making the lines like I'm writing something here and then we can just make some needles on the lantern as well. And then we go down and here we are just adding several lines to make the form. Great, now let's add two more dots to make the form, the top form of the lantern. So I'm just making the lines here approximately. So we have here lines and now we can do one more dot here. So uh, these two dots are higher and this one is lower. So now we can form the top part of the lantern. So I'm making just the oval-like forms here and the same for the right side. Like this. And then we just make the oval-like form here to show the three-dimensional effect of the lantern. 
Now let's make the next lines. So here we have two slanted lines. They are not that big, just two small lines. And we need to make the same line again, which is just like the half oval line. like this. So now let's draw vertical lines and here I'm making vertical lines down. So one line and the second one here. Then uh, approximately here on this level we need to make two more lines to these sides. They are also slanted a bit. Then two more here and one last line at the bottom. Great and now let's divide one half and the second half of the lantern into two parts. So I'm making the lines here approximately in the middle so we have this distance and I'm just dividing with one vertical line and the same thing here. So I'm making the lines like this and approximately here so you can just even measure all the lengths and widths but I'm using my eye because when we are making a watercolor sketch or any other sketch we just relying on our eye and make the measurements and all the lines according to our vision. Then we are making one line here and the second one here. So we need to make the lines to show the three-dimensional effect. Then I make the same lines here and one more line here. Then I need to do the same thing. So we are making the frame for the lantern like this, one rectangle here and lines inside each section like this. Then let's make the lines inside the lantern. So I make the line um, in the same angle, of the same angle that I have here and the back line here as well. Again, the second line for three-dimensional effect. And also let's draw the candle. So here we can just make the oval-like form and then make the candle like this inside the lantern. Also, we have the line for the flame here. Now I'm making the silhouette of the flame, but I won't make the outline of the flame itself. Now let's draw several lines here to show again the base of the lantern. So we need just to make several oval-like forms. Let's start from this point and here we have one line so let's just make the oval-like form to this line here and then make the oval here. Then we are making the lines to the sides one line and the second one and then repeat the same line here. So we have the bottom area and then the same we are doing here. We just need to make one more oval. Again, I'm just repeating the same line but 
the line is not that far from this one so it is right next to the previous one okay and now again i'm just making the lines to the sides like this and we have the lines here they can help us so i'm starting from this points from this dots and i'm making the line down like this till this point And we have just a little base there so I'm making one line here and the second one here approximately again in the middle of the lantern and I'm making the bottom line the last bottom line of the lantern also we can make the handle two lines here and one line here well several actually lines also we are making the line or several lines to show the construction of the lantern and let's draw the circles that we have so we can just make the direction lines to show where exactly we can make the circles and the half oval form here of course your lantern can be different it's okay you can do everything when you are making a watercolor sketch you can distort your lantern you can draw it uh, longer taller or wider so it is up to you how you are making your drawing great so the pencil drawing is done and now we are moving on to the outline Before making the outline with your liner or with your ballpoint pen, just make sure it is waterproof. You can write something on a separate sheet of paper, then apply the wet brush and you will see is it waterproof or not. And of course, if it is not waterproof, then make the outline after the watercolor step. So let's begin with the top area and here I want to make the uh, snow part a bit bigger. So I'm making the snow with slightly visible soft lines. I'm not pressing it down too hard. So I try to make the line really light like this. Then we go down and here we can just add several lines to show that we have maybe a bit more of the snow there. And again, the bottom line of the snow is also really very light. We don't need to make the line dark. And then again, I go down and make the line soft like this. Now let's draw the line of the needles of the branch of Christmas tree that we have here. And the same, I try to make quick lines to show needles there like the zigzag motion and like I'm writing something there and several lines here on the right side Great, now let's make the silhouette of the lantern and here we have the handle, so I try to make two lines, then again here I'm making two lines, then the top line of the lantern should be not that round, not that circle, but a bit with the straight lines, so here we have one diagonal line, one um, horizontal line and again one vertical, one diagonal line. Now here we have several parts and we need to make several lines here as well. So let's make three lines like this. Then we are making the bottom part, bottom line, like the half oval line. So let's make the outline of the circles, of the holes. And now here we are making the outline of the side lines. Also we have here a bit 
more details so i'm making one line and second one to show that some details are more like three dimensional and then i'm making the line here and i make the second one line to show this detail of course but let's make the outline of the circles and ovals there on the sides great and now the lines here on the sides they are diagonal lines and the line here is again half oval now let's do the lines here so we have just the simple outline here i'm making the lines like i have done in the pencil I'm making the outline with the liner, just with a simple line. I'm not, I'm not making any textures, I'm not making any effects right now. So now we just need to make the outline like the pencil drawing. Great, so now we have the candle left and let's make the outline of the candle a bit different. So I'm making the silhouette, I'm making the line here and I'm making the side line. Then we make the lines here at the top again slightly visible. So I'm not pressing down hard. So try to make your line really light. And here I'm just remaking the line for the flame but i'm not making the outline of the flame itself so now i'm picking the eraser and if you are a beginner you can just uh, leave a slightly visible pencil line of the flame uh, for you to help um, in watercolor washes to make a beautiful form of the flame and now let's erase all the pencil Great, so now we are on the watercolor step and we need to add some water on the palette and also add some water on each paint so it will be easier for us to pick the color and if we are adding some water on the palette it will be easier for us to mix the colors. Now the first color we need to get is the red I'm using this one, it is like the cadmium red color. You can take any other color actually, or you can take any other red that you have. 
So we need to prepare the light red, so I mean the red mixed with water. And also we need to prepare the red a bit darker. So here I have the light red and here I have the darker red. And also we need to make the red mixed with purple. So the purple color is like this. Just any regular purple color will do. And I'm mixing the red plus purple and you see I'm mixing the color and I'm not mixing it with water too much. So of course I'm adding some water but just several drops, two or three. So the color should be really dark like this. Now I will do the first layer with the light red color and then while my paper is still wet I'm adding the red color, the dark red and then the darkest red color. So I need to do all the strokes while my paper is still wet. Let's begin with this area and here I'm making the light red strokes. Then I go down and here we can even leave some white paper to show the highlights. For example, here on this area. And now we are moving to the middle area. Actually, we can make just till this point everything with the light red. And here again, I'm leaving a small line of white paper to show the reflection. Now, while my paper is still wet, I'm picking the darker red color and I'm adding this one on the top area, in the middle, mostly in the middle, but of course we can add some strokes here on the sides. And now, while the paper is still wet, I'm picking the dark color and I'm adding this one here on this side. Well, actually in the middle, but a bit to the right side. I'm making the tapping motions. I'm not just making the strokes like this. I'm adding the color with the dots. And you can see how the color spreads really easily here. Also, if you need to make a smooth transition or if you need to make some area lighter or maybe you want to make the color smoothly go from lighter color to the darker, you can just uh, use your wet brush with water and remove some color or some paint that you well, maybe you don't like or that you don't want to be there. The same thing here. I just want to make this area lighter. That is why I'm just collecting the extra pigment with my wet brush. The same thing here. I'm just pressing down and my brush is just like the eraser, picking the color from the paper like this. One more stroke here and here. Okay, so now let's move on and make the next thing. We should wait a bit for the top part to be completely dry. Now let's do the bottom area. Again, I'm making the light color here. I'm just coloring the entire base. If you have some extra water or extra paint on your brush, just use your napkin, clean your brush and you can collect extra color from your paper. Now I'm picking the red color, the bright red. You can even just uh, take the color straight from the pen, from the pan. And now I'm adding the color here again mainly in the middle but a bit to the right. 
I'm not trying to cover the first light red. I'm just adding to make the shadow. Now I'm picking the dark color and I'm adding again on this side like this. We can even make the shadow line here under the central area. Great, and now while we are waiting um, for the lantern to be completely dry, we can make the Christmas tree and we need to get the green color. So the green is like this one. It is the sap green color. You can take any green actually that you have. It is better to have uh, the warm green color for the Christmas tree. You can even add a bit of the blue to mix beautiful color and my blue is uh, cerulean blue. You can take any other blue color for this mixture. Now I'm just preparing the color. We need to get uh, the light green. That is why I'm mixing the green with water a bit. So this color is perfect. Okay, now I will do the short lines. Like I'm, again, writing something and I need to uh, make the edge like this, like the separate needles. Sometimes we can follow the outline that we have there, but sometimes you can make the additional lines. You can just mm, make them different. For example, here I have extended the lines, but somewhere you can make them different. Great, and now let's do the lines inside. Let's show the flame, beautiful yellow flame. And we need two yellows. So the first one is lemon yellow. And the second one is warm yellow, like cadmium yellow color. So like this one. And also we have already a red color on our palette and let's mix the orange. So I'm mixing a red plus yellow and we get beautiful orange color. So uh, we are starting with the lemon yellow and I'm picking the yellow color mixed a bit with water. Try not to uh, make too much of the water here in this mixture and we need to make the flame uh, white inside but the contour will be yellow. Then we extend the yellow color around the flame so the flame should remain white. We are not coloring the flame itself. Then we are picking the next yellow color and then of course the orange. So we need to make the beautiful transition here from the yellow to the next yellow and to the orange. 
after that I'm just picking the color really fast so this step should be a really fast because we need to make the transition a really beautiful and now it is the time to clean our brush so I'm cleaning it with the water and let's make beautiful transition using only water so we just need to make the soft light here using our brush if you need to add some yellow you can add it here while your paper is still wet try to make the soft edge here you can even use your napkin for that if your brush maybe is not working that well you can do the line here and then collect the extra paint or the extra water for the beautiful transition and of course we are not making the light outside the lantern Great, and now while the flame inside is drying, we need to add several dark lines on the lantern. Let's mix the dark color again. So we need to get the red, the same red, plus purple, just several drops of purple color. And we are getting the same dark red. So I'm not making a the color too much mixed with water just several drops of water here and then we are making the lines the dark lines here so we have the details there then we are making the lines for the handles then of course we need to make the line the dark line here under the form that we have here so just one line to show the shadow. Okay, so now the next line is here. I'm making the dark line under this area. Just one line. And then the line here again. Between these two parts of the lantern base and of course the line under the second part here okay so now I'm picking the red color so it is the pure red not mixed with any purple and I'm just adding several lines again on this area And we can dilute this color a bit with water right on the lantern okay and several lines here to show the dark area actually we can just take the mixed color red plus purple now so just several lines and then clean our brush and then dilute the color right on the paper also now let's add the color inside this circles again i'm picking the purple color and we can mix this one with green a bit so we are now mixing beautiful grayish purple color we can even add a bit of the red into this mixture the color is really nice for the dark areas and I'm covering the parts there inside each circle. Great, now let's do the second layer on the Christmas tree needles and let's mix the dark green color. So usually we mix the dark green with the ultramarine blue so it is like the basic color in each palette so the ultramarine is here 
and you can use any other blue color for the mixture. Now I'm mixing the green color the same plus ultramarine and we have the dark green, beautiful dark green. And what we are doing, we are just adding several dark lines on the light needles to form the shadow. I'm making the lines randomly and I try to leave the previous light lines as well. So try not to cover the entire um, body of light green needles. And we can also make the dark lines under the snow part. Like this. So I'm leaving several lines of the previous light a light uh, layer and I'm also making the lines here to show the shadow. Try to make these lines as different as you can. Great, now let's move on to the central part of the lantern. Here, just make sure that the flame is already dry. You can just uh, carefully touch the paper or you can see it from the side if your paper is uh, dry. Now, let's use the same colors. So, we have the lemon yellow and I'm mixing it with the red and the same color here we have is orange. And we just need to color the lines that we have here with orange. One orange line and the second orange line here. We are just showing a beautiful light effect on the lantern from the flame. Now I'm picking the red color and here we have the red. Also, we need to add several red lines here on these lines in the middle. And of course, we have the red color here at the bottom. And we also have red lines on the sides. Now we are diluting the red color and orange color with water to make it lighter. And let's make the inner part of the candle there, of the lantern. So here, closer to the candle, we can use the orange color. And here on the side we are using red and of course we are making red lines here as well. I'm just adding some orangey dots here to make the connection with the central part. If you have some extra water or extra paint just to remove it with your napkin, with your brush. And here we just need to make two strokes on both sides with a light color, with a light red, like this. We can even make the soft transition there. And of course, now let's make two more lines to show the back parts of the lantern. And again, I'm using the light red or maybe the orangey red, that's also okay. And I'm making one line here, one soft and really light line. 
on this side and the same on the right side. Great, now we have the color mixed for the shadows. We have the grayish purple and I'm using this one to make the shadow on the candle. So I'm making lines here and as I go up, I'm mixing this color with orange and then with the yellow. And then we have the sides. I'm just cleaning my brush with the water, cleaning it with the napkin and making soft edges using the wet brush. Also, I'm adding several strokes to make the shadow under the candle with the same color. I'm, I have just diluted with water a bit to make it lighter. Okay, so I really love the effect and now let's do the last thing here, snow. And we need to make the palette a bit clean. So I'm just using my napkin, I'm just making the clean area here, like this. And I'm getting the blue color, this one, it is the cerulean blue and you can take any other blue color that you have and the purple. So we need to get the light purple, that is why I dilute the colors with water and of course we need to get the light blue as well. First we take the light blue and we are just adding the blue color on the snow here on the bottom part. So the top part should remain white. And I'm just doing several lines to show the shadow on the snow like this. And I try to make soft edges. You can also use your napkin to make the edges like this, just by touching the paper. Then you can use the mixture of purple plus blue for beautiful shades. Great, and of course I want to make the snow, the falling snow with splashes and I'm using the same colors. So I'm using the purple plus blue and pure blue color for this. I'm picking the color and I'm making the tapping motions like this. You can also make the splashes with the smaller brush to make different effects. And if you want to remove some of these splashes, for example, I don't want this one. So I'm just picking it with my brush and you can also use your napkin to collect the dots here. You can even draw some lines or some dots anywhere you want them to be. So great, the watercolor step is done. Now we should wait for our sketch to be completely dry and then we are moving on to the details. So great, my sketch is completely dry and now I'm picking the white pan and let's do some lines for the highlights. So we can add one line for the handle then we are adding one line on the left side on each circle or oval like this and you can add highlight on this area if you don't have for example white paper 
I just want to make it bigger. That is why I'm making it here. You can also add several lines here and you can add one or two line on the right side as well. Also, let's add the lines here and one line here and also on this area and here. Now let's make this line a bit lighter. So I'm just making the line here like this and the line here on the right side. Then we can also make the lines on this area. So one line here and the same line next to it, then the same thing on the right side. Then let's add one line here and the same on the right side. Great, now let's add some lines on the bottom area and here we need to add the line here. Just a small line, then one line like this. Just two lines on the right side, but the uh, lines on the right side, they should be smaller. Then the line here. And the lines on the bottom. So here we have the bigger line and here we have the smaller one. Also, you can change a bit the form, the silhouette of the flame if you need to. For example, if you need to make it bigger or if you want to make the different silhouette, just make it. And also I'm adding a short line here and line here. Now let's take the black liner and let's add several lines. Let's make them darker. So I just make the line darker here then the middle line and the line that we have also here. Then the line that we have done already with the watercolor, we just need to make it darker a bit. Then let's make the line darker right here. And maybe two lines, one line on this area and one line here at the bottom. And of course, the last thing we should do here, we should put a signature. I will place it here and our sketch is ready. You've done great job drawing in my basic face sketching course, which I'll tell you more about in the final lesson of this free course. You will learn how to draw various objects, textures and much more. See you in the next lessons.